Without further ado, um, it's always helpful to talk about a topic and define what it is that we're talking about. So, um, in terms of procrastinations, uh, some authors, you know, researchers in the field have defined it defined it as purposefully delaying or deferring of work that must be completed. You know, so we're not talking about you know, you have an assignment that you have to do and then, you know, an emergency happens um, and that, you know, just kind of prevented you from getting to it and getting it done on time. We're talking about purposefully setting the work on the side um, and and not getting it done. Uh, it's basically what, what we're talking about and what we'll be talking about tonight. So if you experience uh, procrastination, then you know uh, how often it, you know, how stressful uh, it may feel uh, when when you have that deadline just kind of looming um, over your head, uh, but find yourself engaging in other activities uh, that, you know, in turn just kind of delays your ability to be able to complete that. Um, however, sometimes we might not really realize that we're actually engaging in procrastination, uh, mostly because it, procrastination, these types of behaviors can actually look different um, for every person. Um, so let's take a look at some of the behaviors that uh, can actually let us know that we're engaging in procrastinating behaviors. So on this slide, uh, we have a series of common behaviors that we might actually engage in when we're procrastinating. Um, like for example, uh, you know, we might not necessarily be into cleaning our house or more in our lawn, but because we want to avoid having to engage or complete a specific discussion or an assignment and all of a sudden, you know, our lawn looks really long or, you know, the laundry basket is already full. So then we kind of have that urge to engage in cleaning or rearranging your workspace um, or maybe having to do the dishes. Uh, there's uh, doing some more research. So usually, and I think this one applies for me a lot too, um, when I have a discussion post or an assignment, I get delved into finding additional articles and more and more research that can help me you know, develop or write a, a really strong discussion post or assignment and then when it comes to see, you know, time has passed and I still haven't even started writing the discussion. So definitely uh, looking into research articles even when you have enough information to get it done. Netflix <laughs> or Hulu or YouTube, uh, watching some funny cat YouTube videos um, can actually look at, like procrastination as well. Uh, social media is a big one for me as well. Using uh, games on on my phone is a it's definitely a huge one for me. Um, so so I, I think playing video games on my phone is the biggest one. Don't don't feel like you're the only one um, in this process. You know, again, we're we're human beings. Uh, we are busy people. We are full time employees. Many of us are full time employees. You know, we're also full time. Um, students at the same time, full-time family members, so like myself, I have two kiddos of my own. So, so yeah, I mean, it's really easy to let other things kind of take priority when it's really time to sit down and just kind of get focused and do what you need to do. But yes, we're all guilty um, for, for engaging in procrastinating types of behaviors. So, so thanks, Luis. Um, I, yes, I am extremely guilty of this for a numerous amount of reasons. I and mean, we're going to talk now about some of those reasons. So for me especially, perfectionism is a big one because I feel like it needs to be perfect. And when I can't get it just the way I want it, I kind of push it off and let it sit there thinking that something's going to come to me and I'm going to figure out how to make it perfect. And it's kind of a way of protecting myself a little bit because I, I don't want to feel like I've done something that's not ideal and perfect for the standards that um, are I set forth and that can actually sometimes be really difficult to work through and then if I don't ever really get it started because I don't really know how to make it perfect from the get-go it really kind of pushes me to push things off also sometimes we just don't like doing it it's just not fun but they call it home work because it's not home fun and so we just don't tackle it until it becomes like do right now. Sometimes we just aren't really confident about how we're going to tackle project. And so, you know, we don't feel like that we understand enough or that we know enough. And so we'll push it off because we just don't feel confident that we really know how to 
deal with that situation and we don't know the direction to go or we feel like our expectations aren't understood and so therefore we we just kind of sit back and wait a little bit and it's definitely one of those things that there's lots of reasons so so let's talk about a little bit why procrastination is a bad idea and why we really should avoid it so it can result in increased levels of stress i don't know if any of you have ever had the moment of oh my gosh my discussion post is due tonight and it becomes um, a stressful moment and then we start getting anxiety and we just kind of rush to put things together, which also can then make us depressed because we feel like we're not doing our best work because our grades are maybe not where we would want them to be because we put it off and we waited to the last minute. This can also though affect us in work and in personal life because when we're stressed about school, then we become stressed kind of about it just spreads. It's like a disease. So from the nursing side of that, it also then can make you just less satisfied. So as this kind of just flows down through the stress and uh, we start doing worse in school and then we become anxious and depressed and then we're just not satisfied with things. We just don't feel connected and we it's harder to kind of pull ourselves through some of that.